children, small for gestational age infants, and newborns who are too small for their gestational age. Preterm infants are born too early. Are there well identified risk factors, for example, nutritional risk factors? Yes, so um, there's recent evidence that um, uh, women who are very short will tend to have smaller babies. And there's also some evidence that they may, their babies may be born too soon as well. But the stronger um, effect of being uh, short um, is on the small for gestational age babies. Those are the ones that are born uh, too small. And um, in addition, the um, uh, women who uh, go into their pregnancy uh, thin, very thin, or who don't gain much weight during pregnancy will also tend to have babies that are born too small. How about age? So very young um, women, ones who are uh, teenagers, uh, under the age of 18, will also have a higher risk of having babies that are born both too small and too soon. Are there countries or regions where this is where there's a high prevalence of SGA and uh, young this mothers? Is, yes, it's a common problem uh, worldwide in low resource countries, but particularly in South Asia, um, are the highest uh, number of women who are of low stature and uh, who are too thin when they go into their pregnancies. So what can we do? What can the medical community do? What public health measures can we propose, implement? So uh, some of the things that have been examined and have been found to be beneficial uh, are certainly supplementing the diet of women during pregnancy. Uh, that's something that could be done quite immediately. Um, and the things that uh, would be helpful would be supplements that include protein and um, energy supplements. Um, but there's also some evidence that uh, micronutrients would be beneficial to these women as well to take during. And actually, there are some micronutrients that are beneficial to take before you become pregnant as well. And besides nutritional interventions, education, what can you do? So uh, certainly um, what we know about um, young women becoming pregnant, uh, if girls can stay in school longer, they are less likely to get married very early and then have children very early. Um, there's been very little evidence that uh, access to contraception, so if you're a young mother um, recently married, uh, you will tend not to want to use contraception. And there's a lot of family pressure not to use contraception until you've had a few children already. So that's not a good answer to the young, uh, young women um, trying to uh, delay the age at first pregnancy. But if we could keep girls in school longer um, and if we could delay the age of first marriage, I think this would be beneficial. So education is the key factor. Thank you very much. Thank you.